Ça a passé. Anyang Haseyo. Anyoseyo. Né? Um, I would like to begin this video by um, rephrasing a quote for you from Neil deGrasse Tyson. It says, and I quote, The day we stop exploring is the day we commit ourselves to live in a stagnant world, devoid of curiosity, empty of dreams. That was by Neil deGrasse Tyson via his, his Twitter. Throughout this London 2012 Olympics, we are experiencing the universal themes of triumph, failure, love, hate, fear, compassion. The Olympics, or any major event like the World Cup, for example, uh, brings and divides people simultaneously. It also sparks micro-conversations like hair controversies and uh, cheating scandals. It isn't just about winning medals or finding ways to save face for your race or your country, but rather a celebration of the human spirit and physical human prowess. I know it sounds too romantic, but it's one set of truth I'm sticking by. The capacity to push to the brink at times, the mind and body, intrigues everyone. Athletes develop a specialty which so few people on earth can achieve, but NASA also is celebrating its own gold medal victory, um, and I think we all should be proud of that as well. So much awesomeness is going on right now um, amidst uh, war conflicts and coupled with your everyday life. <laughs> I get it, you're simply trying to live, but step back an hour a day and see how your life actually functions. Discoveries and political changes can deeply affect how you live, which is why I never understood people that said, well, I don't do politics, or uh, I'm not a science dork. Uh, yeah, science and political changes affect your life, whether you realize it or not. <laughs> so NASA recently sent an unmanned 2,000-pound robot the size of a car 300 million miles from Earth and then dropped the big-ass robot on the red planet, on Mars. So what did you do uh, yesterday, Mr. I don't do politics, I don't do science? To my 80s babies out there, we are making Back to the Future look like Back to the Past. Curiosity, the name of the robot, has lasers that can vaporize rocks. Vaporize. 3D cameras, high def videos. It can drill and scoop soil. Well, that doesn't really sound as cool as vaporizing rocks, but still, I want a robot. Vaporize. I mean, Wally ain't got shh on curiosity. Nothing. The mission, it's not looking directly for signs of life, but they are looking to see whether Mars was once habitable. They are searching for organic materials, um, but they do run the risk of bringing our organic materials from Earth, which is probably the most interesting thing in my opinion, is that this robot would drop trinkets of materials from Earth that can probably create life on Mars. NASA's recent accomplishment, its very own gold medal, just made science cool again, just like athletes. Did you see the space engineer, what's his name, Bobak Verdowski? He, he was rocking a mohawk. <laughs> How many space engineers or scientists are rocking mohawks? American exceptionalism. To some, this adds an extra cool point to the notion of American exceptionalism. To others, uh, Curiosity Rover, the landing of this robot, um, is an example of a human accomplishment. And a lot of people see this as... Uh, beneficial to the entire planet, not just America. <laughs> because if we ever were to stumble on something that has the possibility to break the fundamental aspects of religion and philosophy, we have an opportunity to redefine what it means to exist. So, I began this video with a quote from Neil deGrasse Tyson. I will end this video with a quote from Carl Sagan. I read this quote from brainpickings.com Org, which is a website I actually visit quite often, along with my website, <clears throat> The Vanguard Element, and, uh, <clears throat> quote, maybe we're on Mars because of the magnificent science that can be done there. The gates of the wonder world are opening in our time. Maybe we're on Mars because we have to be, because there's a deep nomadic impulse built into us by the evolutionary process. We come, after all, 
from hunter gatherers and for 99.9 percent .9 of our tenure on earth we've been wanderers and the next place to wander to is mars but whatever the reason you're on mars is i'm glad you're there and i wish i was with you end quote carl sagan congratulations to the mars science laboratory for landing the curiosity rover on mars um Curiosity killed the cat, and I hope satisfaction brings it back. One love, peace. Human, earthlings. <laughs>